So I'm dead. this video because I have been thinking about death a lot lately and how at any moment I could just die and nobody would know my last words or my last thoughts or truly me and who I am and what I love and who I love. So first thing I wanted to say is that I hope you guys are not sad right now. I'm making this video so you guys can watch it and know what I want done with my body and what I want for my, uh, I guess, funeral. I don't want a funeral. I'm not trying to say that I don't want people to come and, you know, to, for me and my body is dead and you guys can gather around and, I don't know. I just don't want you guys to have a funeral. As saying I don't want you guys to sit in black and cry and over my dead body while laying flowers on it. <laughs> no, I don't want that. I want you guys to have a party. And it's weird because you're like, but you're dead. Why would we have a party? Because you're celebrating me. You're celebrating the life that I lived and how happy I was because even though I am moody, I am happy. I am always happy, whether it's hanging out with my friends or painting a picture or singing or it's uh, anything like that. It's I'm I'm happy. I I was happy. I probably still am happy because I do believe, even though I am dead, my soul is forever conscious, conscient, uh, like awake. Uh, I. After death, I, I'm i pretty sure I found internal bliss and internal happiness and I'm just living and I'm just, uh, I'm just happy. So I don't want you guys to cry and think that I was, I'm sad that I'm dead. I'm not because I'm not afraid to die because I know that after death is something more, something that not even humans can think of you know so um yeah so have a party and talk about all the things you loved about me and uh, uh all the things you didn't like about me and all the things i was uh, how annoying i am and just show pictures of me when i was a baby and laugh and play music and dance and eat and just talk about life man just talk about how it's so short and at any moment anything could happen I died I'm dead so so I want I don't want my body to be buried I want to be burned um, yes yeah, so uh, don't be afraid to burn my body like I'm not in that anymore my body is just an outer shell what's inside matters it's already gone so just do it if, just burn my body burn it and uh, I got this idea which is an amazing idea I want my body to be burned like half of it to be planted in a tree and the other half to be mixed in a paint and paint a beautiful picture with it and that's weird you guys are like uh, do you want that i do i really do and i don't know i just don't think like being buried is so like it's just my body in the ground and i think i just want my body something done with this outer shell that i had something beautiful something creative something that that's beautiful can come, come, come out of it and a tree and a beautiful painting i'm happy I'm good yeah all my possessions that I had like all my stuff I'm pretty sure I didn't have too many hopefully I hopefully didn't become materialistic in the time that I died I hopefully just had like a couple of things and, like whatever I had just give it away uh, you can keep it if you want to yeah I don't, I don't need it anymore I'm dead so just give it away to charity I guess that'd be cool yeah I'm still helping people even though I'm dead I just don't want people to think I wasn't ready to die because every second I wake up I'm ready to die not like oh my gosh I want to die no I'm ready to die I know that one day I'm going to die and if you're watching this I'm dead so <laughs> um, I'm going to die and 
you're going to die and everybody's going to die the planet is going to die because nothing is constant not, nothing not the world turning not the sun shining not me being here so please don't think that everything is forever because it's it's not forever i wasn't forever just don't wish that no matter how how i died i don't know how I, how i died if it was natural and i did it peacefully surrounded by people i loved and i was 105 and i explored explored the world and i backpacked around europe like i wanted to and uh i found the one person who i was going to spend the rest of my life with or if i did it getting stabbed in an alleyway with nobody there to save me or uh, find my body until like 10 days later um i'm okay because i i know that i'm gonna die that that i was going to die whether in no matter what way so i loved painting i loved painting and i loved drawing and i loved singing and i I loved looking at the sky and how every time I, the sun was set, it would be different. Uh, I loved flowers and I loved the bees. I love bees. Uh, I love riding a bike on a warm day and how the air would hit you just right. And it would just feel like you were flying if you closed your eyes. Uh, I love weed. And... Uh, how it takes you to another planet when you and how and how it just makes me happy it just, it just literally takes me to another universe to where i leave my body my body is just there and my soul is somewhere else i love my family because no matter how much i argue with them they are always there for me and they love me unconditionally i love my friends because even though they're not my family, they are they are like my family. But unlike your family, they could just like leave you and just like not have your remorse. But like for the friends I have right now, like thanks for putting up with me. Uh, I like a boy, and I don't know if this is true anymore. Uh, I don't know he could be dead or um, with somebody else, married with two kids. Um, he could have moved all the way across the world and I'd never seen him again and I don't even remember anything about him or we could be dating or we could be married or we could be old like 50 and have like 10 kids and just love each other eternally or but I like that boy I want to travel and I don't know if I already did it or if I am about to do it or if, uh, if I never if I never got to but I want to travel I really want to see what all the world has to offer all the beauty and all the people and all the different foods and the architecture I just want to see something new I want to look out my window and see something new every single day and I wouldn't mind doing it with a couple of friends. So if we did go traveling, that was epic, huh? <laughs> it was probably amazing. And we probably had an amazing time. Road trips, I really want to go on road trips with my friends. And at this very moment, I have never been on a road trip. But hopefully when I'm dead, I, I have. I haven't gone on road trips with my friends. And we've done really amazing, really amazing things. And really uh, just like, I don't know. And had like amazing adventures and moments that I remember for the rest of my my being and and uh, yeah I I hope I hope I loved somebody when I died before I died I know it's it's a dumb thing but I love love I love love and I've never been in love before I think I don't know probably have since I don't know my family would love me. I could die. I could just die and then what would have been me? What would I have been? Nothing, I guess. Because nothing really matters because one day the whole world is gonna probably implode on itself or the sun's gonna swallow it. 
whole and nothing will ever matter not me and not this video not you and not even famous people like the presidents won't matter and and Beyonce, she won't matter. My queen, though. Nothing really matters, I guess. Nothing is, everything is matter. Everything is form, so it can be gone in a second. Everything that can, is created can be destroyed, so. Hopefully you guys are having fun at my uh, funeral party. Just eat a lot and just have fun. Just celebrate my life and don't mourn it.